dance, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. I woke up, then I logged in to that Urban X where they be flexing with that blog in. Put it down, cause my little homie called in. Had to bail him out, he in trouble with the law again. Black skin can't win in the white world. Seen a brother kill his own kid for that white girl. We ain't wanna go to school, but we had to. Every February, it was scary in them classrooms. Shimmy y'all, shimmy gay. Old dirty bastards can't own dirty slaves or they own dirty masters. Black dot found a pot as a young and broke it down for his son and now he serve it to the masses. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Excellence, a product of my residence From four score to 44, Obama was the president I told mama I ain't trying to go to church I'm like Adam, every Adam is a product of the dirt And I've been reaping what he sowed I got the product, got the dirt And I can teach you what I know But then you got him put in work You in trouble if you waiting on the government I told my bro I make it out the hood And that's a covenant Peace, peace. Welcome, welcome back to another episode of the Urban X Podcast. Thank you guys for joining us. The number one father and son podcast on the planet Earth, off the planet Earth. Everywhere. In the grid, middle Earth, middle outer Earth, Earth, flat Earth, inner verse, outer verse, um, um, hollow Earth, all of all that. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you guys for being here. As always. As always. Hope you guys had an amazing week. It is Thursday. It is Thursday. It is the end of the week for us. Yeah. Yep. And we are in the building. We thank you for being here. Wait. Come on in. I'm, I'm Malcolm. This is the, host, the artist formerly known as the Black Dad. He is here. Yes. Yes. Hope you guys had an amazing week. How was your week? Our uh, week was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got some new things we're working on, new things we're building. Yes. As always. And so I'm always excited when... The creative process is on. You know, I get stagnant if if we just running through the motions. But whenever a new idea and a new venture, yeah. you know, rears its head, I'm yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm I'm in the trenches. Yeah. And so that I like. So uh, real quick, want to remind you guys that we are doing a fifty percent off sale on every embossed design on the site. That's right. All right, so some people already took advantage. They got about four or five of them things. Shouts out to you guys. Yes, yeah, people have been buying a couple at a time. <laughs> Shouts out to you guys uh, because we are putting these away uh, for the until the fall. Yeah. So we're taking them off the side, putting for them away. For space purposes you know, in, inside of, you know, where we have storage. We run a business here. We run a business. We run a business here. It's time to roll out yeah, it's some Mother's stuff. Day stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, Taurus and yeah. Aries. Aries and Taurus stuff. Mm -hmm. Some good stuff. You right. know what I mean? Uh, we have some other announcements. Let's get to them. We have some other announcements. So, guys, all right, before we get started, the show is not over. Let's get that out the way first. <laughs> Let's get that out the way first. Because <laughs> we were just here four years ago, exactly to the day, 2019 on show 50, when we did actually quit the show. Ain't that something? Crazy, crazy. Yes. Show 50. Show 50. March yes. 21st, yeah. 2020? Yeah, 20, 2019. 2019. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. And the show is ending today. Uh, it's not ending. Give me it's a, not, it's, it's, bring it in. It's not ending. Malcolm, bring it in. Bring okay, it in. Okay, it's not ending. Yeah, the writing is on the wall. But, guys, announcement. Uh, me and my family, Noble Avery, me, Avery Noble, we are moving. We moved. Clap that yes. up, man. Clap yes. that up, man. Yes. That's big stuff, man. So where did we move? We moved to Delaware. Long way from New York. It's, it's, obviously, it's not New York. It Clap can't, it up. Clap it up. Clap it up, yeah. It's not New York. You can't be in two places at once. That's true. You know? So the, the dynamics of the channel of the show will change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. And we could, you, you sit next to me. Yeah, yeah. And now you all yeah. grown up. Yeah. I remember he was a little boy. <laughs> little dookie diapers and shit. Yeah, yeah. And now you change it, dookie diapers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, enough of that shit. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the show, the dynamics of who we are will be here. But you got to understand, what we do, our ghost and Ray, uh, Heckle and Jekyll, yeah. uh, 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 Laurel and Hardy, Abbott and Costello, this thing can only be performed live in this capacity. I can't tell a joke and Malcolm be on a headphone, someone else be like... <laughs> you know, seven seconds later. And so how we do what we do is going to change. But we won't try to replicate this because we want you to remember this as it is. You know what I mean? Three camera action, lights flowing, mama dot, uh, 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 you know, on the ones and twos, yeah. mixing up the board. And so, but you got to understand, Malcolm, I, I just want to say this. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Um, when when you guys met Malcolm, you know, ghetto Cosby kid, uh, you know what I'm saying? Fresh out of college. I just quit my job. Just quit his job. Mm -hmm. uh, a deer in headlights and these cameras and this two, and two. that. Two, two. And now he's a grown ass man with a child of his own, with a fiance and a home, you know what I'm saying, that they purchased. And so at 30 years old, it's, it's time to... It's time to fly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And and Lord knows, I, I mean, I enjoy what we do here, mm -hmm. but I be tired sometimes too. I, you yeah. know, I, I get it. Yeah. I, I get it. And so we want to thank you for your continued support for what we do. Uh, you know, our UX90 stays the same, our membership stays the same, our shop stays the same, and you'll still see us in some capacity doing what it is we do. We'll get on camera from time to time, but if we can't, because he can't, just can't be in two places at one time. Yeah, I'll be here Monday. So you yeah, know, yeah, this, yeah. So there, it won't be uh, the same clip that we've been doing the show, um, because like just I just can't be here. I can't be in two places at once. Um, even though you know, if you're familiar with Delaware, New York, it's a two-hour drive, but that's a that's it, a stretch. It, it's it's a stretch. We to, do our show at eight, eight, eight at night. You know what I mean, that's yeah, a stretch. then have to make it home and you know this mean? and that and but. We will do pop-up podcasts whenever Malcolm is in town. Absolutely. So you guys got to kind of be sharp. When they, hey, oh, it's a pop-up. And that's what we'll call it. Pop-up show number yeah. one. Pop-up podcast number two. When, you know, the energy is there. But I'm super proud. At 30 years old, I believe it's time. You know yeah. what I mean? Because then we'll be 35, 40 talking about you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the number one father. Yeah. And so, um, you know, your support has always been great here. And how fitting is that? March 21st, four years ago, mm -hmm. on the on the solstice. Basically. Oh, we just happened to check it just before. We just happened to check it yeah. right before it came on. And here we are. And so this is what it is, man. Yeah. And we know how you guys feel about the show. And we feel about it, too. We feel about yeah. it, too. But uh, all of these things, we've kind of plateaued. Yes, yes. Sally, even though... Um, uh, so I, I, I tell I recommend this website to everybody. It's called futureme.org. And you can write an uh, email to yourself. You can set it for six months in the, uh, six months in the future, two years, three years in the future. So I went into my profile. I read all my letters, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. I started in 2016. Mm -hmm. And we had just really started to do something here. Like, right. Something. Something. It was just starting to formulate. You know what I mean? And then um, I, I, one of the day, one of the letters, it was just like, yo, we have 1,800 YouTube subscribers. Oh, my gosh. Like, that's something. You know what I'm saying? That was something big. That was big. You know what I mean? And then now, look at, look at what we did. We had, I was still working on my book. Um, I was going on vacation with Avery. Me and Avery was having issues. Oh shit, she's pregnant. Like all of the, all of that is in those emails. Yes. You get what I'm saying? All of you guys have seen that. You've seen you the whole story. You've seen the story. You've seen us before we had the shop. We bought a, you know, invested yes. in a shop. Yes. Started selling them. You guys know the entire story, but it, it comes a point when the, in the hero's journey where it's your journey now all yeah. the way. It's your yeah. ride. Uh, it, it's it's your mission. It's it's time for you to leave the nest, so to speak, mm -hmm. and just make your own mistakes, grow. I'm gonna miss the hell out of Noble. 
yeah. as you know. But, you know, I FaceTime yeah. him. I started getting him on the FaceTime yeah, shit yeah. early. So he'll see Pampa on the FaceTime, and it's just two hours away. Yeah, exactly. So it's not like way across the country. Exactly. But that's the major announcement that we want to make today. Yes. Major announcement. Yes? Yes. So, you, if you, 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 we can, is it? All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Off camera. Yeah, because uh, those people who are seeing me in Delaware, like, yo, what's up? Like, I'm just, oh, what's good, y'all? Like, and I got to play it off because yeah. I don't want to say nothing. Yeah, you want to blow it up too soon. Yeah, I don't, you know, play it off. So, um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, but I will be here Monday, so that will be a, sh- a podcast on Monday. That's because How are you gonna end the show today and then have a podcast? Well, no, on so because okay, so we You can't come here on Monday. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> no, no, I'm not giving another speech. No. And my, no, no, no. I don't want to see you here on Monday. Go down and start unpacking well, and gotta, do, the, yeah. do the shit you yeah. got, unless you yeah. have to come back. Yeah. We're well, moving drugs up the coast or yeah, something. I'm turnpike Ike, man. You turnpike Ike? Turnpike Ike. Yeah, be on the thing, you know what I mean? Anywho. Yes, uh, yeah. So for the people who just came in, I'm moving to Delaware. Yes. Um, what well, moved to Delaware? Yes. I've been kind of making the trip back and forth for the past few weeks now, almost yeah, a yeah. month now, actually. Bringing some stuff Bringing here some, and there. Yeah, you know I mean, so I'm here. Um, somebody said no, uh, no taxes. In, that is, yeah, no, no taxes in Delaware as well. Mm-hmm. That's good. Um, that's when I talked about going into the gun store in Delaware. They were just like, "What you need?" I was just like, "Oh." Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all like that out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, it's really, really um cool place. A lot of black people out there. I was close to Philly. It's like 20 minutes from Philly. Um, yeah, it's quiet, it's chill. You know what I mean? It was like 5 o'clock, and I'm just like, what? it felt late. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm used yeah. to fighting for parking. I'm used to... Noise. A bus, fighting Spanish music. Yeah, yes. None of that out there. It's beautiful, so um, it's yeah. really cool. Noble uh, is going to grow up in a real cool environment. Around other black people, he was. I know he was bugging out his first time at school, not hearing Spanish teachers. Yeah, yeah. Hey, papi. Yeah, I know. He, I know he was confused. Hola, papi. Like, what the hell is going on here? But yeah, I'm excited, guys. I, I'm excited. Bittersweet. Um, like you said, I, I still will um be popping up. I still will be putting up content on the sh- on the channel. He still will be putting up content on the channel. We're gonna do the split screen stuff. But his, his thing. My dad is what we call an entrepreneur. Yes. Okay. So he is like really particular, really A R T A R T entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Right? right. Absolutely. And he is really um um, um particular, right? Because I'm like, yo, you know, we could do the pod, you know, split screen. And he said, nah, that's not the Urban Next podcast. We've done 460 something shows right next to each other. That's not. He's not trying to ruin the sanctity of the and show. And because I, again. My whole goal here is to make you laugh out of your seat. Yeah. That's my whole goal, or to trigger Mama Dot, you know what I'm saying, yeah. from her seat. And I just can't do that with a seven-second delay. It's not going to be that big of a delay. Dude, it's, 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 it's a big it's, enough it's, delay it's, it's to not, do it. It's not. So I would rather leave that artistic yeah. stuff we created where it is, mm-hmm. and then when we come on screen, we'll just do some other stuff. I got a few ideas, you know, that we could do. Got but, some exclusives we owe y'all. Yeah, some exclusives and some other stuff. I want to keep that. I want people to have this the last thing in their mind of how we do podcasts because I don't think anybody did it better. I don't think so either. Than how we did it. I don't think so either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Somebody said, is Noble going to FDMG? I actually drove past there and... <laughs> <laughs> and took some pictures. And, and, and no. no, no, no. Sent me some pictures. I was just like, look at this bullshit. He was like, look at this bullshit look here. Look at this bullshit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because, mm. mm-hmm. But yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, more exclusives. We got, like, a lot more stuff coming, which we are excited about. Yes. Um, We just, and, like, doing the same things and expecting different results is what? Insane. Insane. Insanity. Insanity. You taught me that. A long, long time yes. ago, before you could really understand, like you know, like what that is, right? Mm-hmm. But um, for us, that means you know we've been you know doing the same thing and expecting different. So we we're doing a little shock to the algorithm, shock to you guys' algorithm, yeah. shock to us yeah. as well. We're gonna do new things. We're gonna tap into different creative spots between the both of us. Yep. Still love my dad. That is my dad. Oh, of course. Obviously. That goes without saying. And remember, I, I'm a guy who enjoy my privacy. You know what I mean? So Yo, I, yeah, I can yeah. go back into into my little nest. Yeah. 
And I think I've, I've come out and I've given a lot of, you know, stuff to feed this. I, I don't need this anymore. I enjoy when we sit here mm -hmm. and do and do it. But, you know, come on, guys. Yeah. Somebody yeah. said do a hologram like that. <laughs> Lord knows it do the hologram like Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. That, if the technology get there. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh. Because I could put him in a seat right here. Facts. And we right next to each other. Right next to each other. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, let's get let's get to this. Real oh, okay. Quick. I wanted to kind of start the show, and then we could get to it. Okay, let's start the show. All right, so we're hit, gonna start hit, the show. Hit the bing bing. All right, let's just start the show. You are tuned to into the yes. sounds of Urban X. So, guys, first off, we want to shout out my big brother, big bro, my big brother Marcus. First of all, we how ironic just two shows yeah, ago. That was last show. No, two shows ago. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, we didn't uh, yes. we we didn't bring this downstairs yeah. last show. Two shows ago we yeah. were talking about he had a book coming. Yep. And when I get upstairs the next day, the book is here. Yep. Yep. How crazy and yeah. synchronized yeah. is that? But yes. So uh Marcus, he just put out his first book. It's amazing. It's called It's Amazing. Even a fifth grader can learn. Um, how to invest in real estate. Okay, this is the book, and he is calling real. Hold it up, hold it up. Real estate made simple. Here it is. Here it is. Some great stuff in here. I'm very proud of him. I have the website in the description below. It is. I want to get the website correct for you guys. Yep. Because I have it in the description is uh, Ascension Management uh, MGNT.com. You can get the ebook, you can get the physical copy on Amazon, it's there, or you can get the ebook. And his e he has a, a bundle as well, some hoodies and stuff like that. Oh, that go with it. That go with and it so if you want to get the bundle. And so what he's been doing, he's been going to uh, schools, going to schools yes. uh, teaching young fifth and sixth graders. Uh, the importance of real estate, again, sort of what Ernie Elysia is doing. He's been on it even before them, no disrespect, in terms of getting to the young people early yeah. and putting it into their minds, expanding their consciousness when it comes to ownership, saving. To, he goes through a whole gabbit yeah. of things. And so we're super duper proud. As a dad, I'm super proud of the uh, these two men in particular, uh, you know what I'm saying? For coming out with their bodies of work, chips off the old block, uh, in their own style, right. in their own way, and own manner. And Marcus has taken an interest. He has a degree in business. Yeah, he does. And so he's always had an interest in working for himself, doing things for himself. And so I'm super proud of him that, you know, he he's carved this out for himself. So you definitely can go to Amazon and pick that up. Yes, it is, uh, his name is Marcus Rogers. R O D G E R S. Right, so that's you can type that in on Amazon. Check it out. And like I said, the website is in the description below. Yes. So check that out. Check that out. All right. Yes. So uh, let's get to some stories now. Let's, let's get do some it, man. Stuff, man. Let's do it. You are tuned into the sounds. Of Urban X. Somebody asked me, is Nerd Talk ending? No, me and Eli will do the split screen. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Eli will do the, because that is a pre recorded show yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, and me and him, we're always going to have stuff like uh, me and him, once like House of Dragon comes out, we're going to do like episode recaps and yes. shows and yes. stuff like that. So me and Eli got a lot of stuff to do. I'm excited. I'm just, we're about to change it up, okay? Just change it up. We're about to change it up. Somebody asked us if uh, Mark Jackson and his son ran us off the block. Yeah, man, they were really powerful. Yeah. I mean, that show is so... <laughs> that show is just... It's dynamic. Yeah. So we, we got ran off the block. Yeah. A new father and son team. Yeah. It's on the block. Yeah. So um, somebody said, uh, Dad said he was out by show 500. Crazy enough, I don't know if you guys remember, if you were if you were with us back then, show 50, somebody said, because we were, we were out, like we were like completely, completely done. And somebody said, nah, y'all need to end that show 300. And that sounds so far from me. I was just like, 300? Yeah. God damn. And now look, show 463. Yep. You know what yep. I mean? Yep. So, Absolutely. Yes, yes. So uh, let's get to some stuff, man. I wrote, I mean, I, I watched the Freak Nick doc on Hulu. Did you uh, watch it with Mary and her four daughters? 
Who's Mary and her four daughters? Mary and her four daughters. Oh, no. Daughters. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Ooh. No, I did. No, I did. No, it wasn't as salacious as you would think. Like, everybody thought it was just going to be... We twerk went. Whoa, yeah, whoa, just whoa. like through the screen. Like, oh, my God. Oh, God. It wasn't that... Like, they, they gave the history... They gave, you know, they, they put they some context to it. A lot of context behind it. Uh, because they had the original founders of the the, the picnic. Like, oh, okay. Freaknik, okay. Nick, like, the, the term came from, it was a song um, back in the day. It was free, I forget, uh, the Freak Out song. Mm-hmm. So Freak it was a, Out! Yes, it was a dance that went with that. So um, oh, that yeah. wasn't the, you know, it wasn't about, like, you know. It just organically and then became the Freak Nick. Picnic, and then Picnic, so Freak Nick. So it was literally a picnic for black college students on a spring break who couldn't afford to go home. Mm. And then, that was in the 80s, because it started in like 83, because the founders were like, yo, when they think when they talk about Freak Nick, they only talk about like the 90s. But it started it's, way before. Yeah, in the 80s, it started like, you know, and then. Sort of like hip hop. Exactly, and then Uncle Luke started to come up, oh, and then he brought boy. the actual Freak to Freak Nick. He recorded one of his videos there. It was, it was, it was a really good doc. It was, like I said, it wasn't as, salacious as you thought it was going to be. They did show some stuff. College back then just seemed like such a vibe, man. Yeah, I can't explain yeah, it. Like, yeah. you know, in the 80s and 90s, like, you you and your friends load up the car. Y'all got no GPS, no map quest. Y'all have a map. Uh, uh, with paper. An actual map. And trying to find your way there, yes. People was like, yeah, we drove eight hours to get here. I would have been like, what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, man. But yeah. it was really, really good. Go check it out. Um, and then you see, like, you, you just gradually see where it just kind of turns mm-hmm. into, like, ah, we can't do this. It just came ex- extreme. Yes, and then you see where um, the city had to come in because it was getting the Olympics. Oh, and, and they had to clean, they had to clean up. it up. They can't, ah, you know what I'm saying? I was wondering. Yeah. Ah, see, see, you get the whole story, uh, you know, with, with context to it, and I like that. You yeah. know, so, so now you get to watch it. With not just, you know what I mean? Exactly. Very interesting. So my side graduated from Southern University in 1987. Yeah, man, that sounds fire, man. And see, up here, we had the Greek Fest. Yes. Which was our version of Freaknik. Yeah. And it was it was the same energy. They would do it at Jones Beach. Oh, okay. And, you know, we, 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 one time we rented a U-Haul. There was so many of us. We just jumped in the back of the U-Haul. Yeah. And and made it out there. Somebody said Miami's going through the same thing. Yeah, because they're yes. spring, Yeah, that's just you know. Yeah, Miami's that's white out kids, of control Black now. kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that is that is a mess. And um, I saw videos of them like enforcing the curfew mm-hmm. out there. I saw uh, police on bikes, mm-hmm. on foot, on cars. They they're really putting a big presence because it's like even the hotels is like enough is enough, yeah. man. Because you're tearing our hotels up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You, once that alcohol reaches a certain level with these young people. You know, it just it's out of control, and then when someone dies, yeah, and then it's, it starts becoming fun. Like you right. know what I mean? It's right. just like yo, and then and then if you watch the doc, like that was in the eighties and the nineties and stuff like that. So there was no social media around, right? To see a lot of the stuff, they had cameras. They they were yeah, showing like, big VHS yeah, they had cameras. cameras, but like there was no social media around to like influence stuff like so you and your friends need to spend a bunch of money at all these high end ass restaurants. Yes. When, you know, back then you could probably just get a bottle or something. Everybody oh, and, get some everybody juice, just cups, and, and, and ice everybody cups, was yeah. feeding everybody. Yeah, you, you you got something. We we got a cup, and and it was more of a family oriented vibe. But you know now the hotels and and it be chicks who travel all the way there with no way to get back. Yeah, yeah. No hotel to stay yeah. in. They like I'm here. <laughs> I'm gonna just find somebody. Find somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and and yeah, it gets crazy. So go check that doc out. It was, it was dope. Another doc that I watched, I got a chance to watch a Nickelodeon joint. Okay. All four okay. episodes of that. Because mm. uh, last episode, I said I would get to it, but I definitely watched them. And boy, disturbing. Disturbing, man. Like, some of um, the some of the stuff that was happening on screen, like, I'm, I am couldn't, like, have to speed through it. Like, some yeah. of the stuff with Ariana Grande, like, yeah. they had her doing. I'm just like, oh, nah. Because like, it was clearly, obviously perverted. The fact that adults... Sat in there, filmed it, yes, edited it, and said, "That's a go." And Put it wasn't even that in your window ish. It was like and this was like blatant, this, yeah, blatant, yeah. blatant stuff. Now remember, they've been putting that stuff in cartoons for years. 
You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Explosions on the face, dripping down the face, this and that. And all kind of stuff that adults associate with, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Eroticism yeah. and all of this. And, and to have uh, a, a, a film director or somebody who's sitting all, over everybody pulling this stuff off. Yeah. Uh, again, it became a place where you thought it was for children. It was not for children. You know what's crazy? It too? was a, a haven yeah. to pick children apart. And we, we, I think what was most um, interesting about it, because if you watch it, this is, you know, a little kind of spoiler alert. But there were people on there clearly who had something for little girls, and there were other people on there who had something for little boys. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And and we we tend to think we pedophiles are just kids. Some, there's, kid, there's pedophiles who are just into that. Yes. And there's pedophiles who are just into that. You yes. know what I'm saying? They call one pedophile, and I forget the name of the... A one who uh, it's two different names, but they're very close. We just kind of umbrella it, mm-hmm. and the, the 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 unique part is what I try to tell people how they uh, uh, disassociate you from your uh, your, your guardian, yeah, yeah. your guardian, your your protector. Your mm-hmm. you know they have unique ways to separate them children from their parents, turn the parents against the child, a child against the parent, mm-hmm. use a divorce. So many things that they do because. Once they remove your halo, whoever's there to protect yeah. you, even as an adult, that's what they did to Kanye. Mm-hmm. Once they got rid of his mama, yeah. it was it was a free for yeah. all. You know what I mean? And so they have these unique ways. No matter how adamant the dad is or the mom is, they sit and wait you out mm-hmm. until they get the split. And then when they get the split, it's over. Yeah, you know what I mean? And that becomes very very. Tough. All of them little kids. Yeah, and mind you, I grew up on those shows. All of those actors, I remember watching. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I remember, like, all this stuff. And it's just like, damn. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. Like, yes. you see the light leave these kids' eyes. Yes. From when they first get on, you see they bright energy until when afterwards they just a shell of themselves. Yes, because their spirit yeah. has been taken. Their soul has been taken literally from their body. And now these people are using their energy as they see fit. That kid Drake said, the stuff that this man did to me was so horrific. Yeah, he looked uncomfortable. Like, he just looked completely like... And and it just goes, again, to show you uh, these these are wicked people. And Hollywood is the festering ground. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 Disney World is a festering ground all of these places are festering grounds for those who nourish and feed off that energy. Yeah. And it's sad because, you know, your child has, has you know, they want to act and, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You, you feel that this is great. And then you get out there and find out it's something different. Yeah. And so very, very sad uh, to see, you know, these stories. But I'm glad they're coming out now. And not not glad at their expense, but... Um, you know, we've been getting a lot of black uh, 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 treachery oh. in Hollywood lately. So, no disrespect, but that is you, true. you're getting a balance to the that story is true. now that, is that true. we ain't the only ones who who who's sick, who need help. Everybody who, who toes that line, need, you know, are, are sick and need help. That is true. And so, I'm pretty sure Diddy is like, ooh, God damn, just give yeah. me a break. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad this nigga Lowly and shit yeah. is out for a few. God that damn. That is true. And, and Jamie Foxx, when, when the Diddy shit, ooh, yeah. God damn. Yeah. And Will Smith was like, God damn, good. Yeah. I hope this shit. So everybody hoping another scandal come yeah. out. Just give me a break off my scandal. Yeah. And so, you know, people are... Uh, and when, when Cat Williams came out, you yeah. know, he took a little heat off everybody yeah. and put heat on people at the yeah. same time. Yo, side note, that interview... Somebody said, do you think there was ever a uh, feat over the nickel? Why do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah, That's what, yeah, it was, yeah. He definitely yeah, because had, of them he, fetishes. Yeah, he definitely had. had a fetish. And I think um, there's a lot of rumors, allegedly. Allegedly. That um, he, because uh, Amanda Bynes, they talked about her, right? This, is, this wasn't in the doc, but this is like, you know, mm-hmm. floating around. She had a Twitter account that didn't go. It went by, like, Ashley Banks or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, And apparently, she talked about uh, 
getting pregnant by like one of the show creators or something like that and people are kind of putting it together that it was Dan Schneider mm-hmm. allegedly and stuff like that so like I said I think he had something with uh, girls little girls mm-hmm. and remember when the thing with Brian Peck came out he didn't support him so that's probably the line in the sand like oh I don't do little boys now right right just saying still all sick stuff man yeah yeah absolutely Mama Dot you wanna um Chime in on that? Oh. Nice. Yes, yeah, so it did. And another rumor was um, that uh, Jamie Lynn Spears, when she got pregnant on Zoe 101, that uh, apparently Dan's. Well, listen, yeah, yeah. Allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, but I wouldn't allegedly. put it past any of these individuals, yeah. man. These people are sick. Sick, yeah, it's bad. Bad. It's, it's really, really bad. And so you want to protect your children. So when, when my daughter used to ask me, can I spend. No, you cannot Yo. spend a night because. And see. Don't just think that's a Hollywood thing. Yeah. It could be a drunk uncle. Mm-hmm. It could be an aunt. Mm-hmm. It could be anybody who's looking for an opportunity. A lot of these baseball coaches, you hate to say it, mm-hmm. you know, they, they're looking, and that one kid who's always left behind, nobody come to pick him up. Mm-hmm. He looked dirty. You buy him a piece of pizza. You start talking to him and realize no, because this is what they do. They're doing psychoanalysis on the one kid. That they could, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so it, it it's it's cheerleading teams. Look at that cheerleader, the Olympic coach. Oh uh, yes. Who who went to jail for a hundred years? The gymnastics coach. Yeah. The gym, gymnastics yeah. coach. So they are everywhere, and they have their own communities, and they all share little girls' yeah. panties and yeah. widow. Just yeah. I, I'm, it's a network. Yeah. On the underground, that's deeper than you could imagine. It could be your next door neighbor, could be a police officer, could be this one, that one. Protect your children at all costs. Yeah, I have since I became a parent, I have like just irrational fears. Like yes. just like just everything. Like that's right. And that's why in, in our household, because Eli was disabled, mm-hmm. one of us always stayed home. Mm-hmm. Who and tag you in? Mm. Whoever was making more money, mm. yeah. that was our game plan. You making more money, you go to work. I'll stay home because we wanted to make sure a, a, until he can articulate, you know, himself. Yeah. And man, listen, it's serious business. Black Dot, if you can explain, you super chat. how do you think the elites actually convince celebs to sacrifice their loved ones? I can't imagine the words spoken to suggest that type of thing. I've I've always wondered that, but then you think about what. Non celebrities would do for money. Thank you. When you want to know about the unknown, you study to know. Yeah. For money and power, we give you a piece of power, and this power is so. Once you start riding in private jets, up champagne, an exclusive hotel, you are not trying to ever let that go. And I've seen people kill their own kids for worse. Yeah. White people will, will get rid of somebody for a life insurance policy. And so, you know, and they tell you on the way in a lot, listen, we're going to need a, a, a payment. You know mm. what I mean? And you have to understand this is a, a blood payment. This is a payment, you know what I mean, that's going to keep you in power or, 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 or your retribution yeah. for this. And trust me, they do it. They do it, they yeah. do it, man. Yep. Some, um, what else? Oh, side note, you, you said something about Cat Williams. Yo, that interview, I've never seen the, the reverberations, reverberations on yes. one interview in my yes, life. Yes, now you got uh, Godfrey up there. Lil Rel was uh, and up there. This. And then Godfrey was responding to somebody else that was, I'm just like, that, like. Yes. Shout out to Godfrey's hilarious up there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, hilarious. Yeah. But yeah, it's like it's really just like one interview that just spawned everything. Yo. It's all gonna be tied back to Cat Williams in terms of this thing, cause somebody else waiting for their shot. And when I get on, I'm gonna say and then, this. And, and then and then again, I, I I said this about Shannon. I said he needed to just go back to what he was trying to do, like just the regular interviews, because he's interviewing all comedians now. Yes. And you can't tell me. That you just doing it because you know they just comedians. No, like you you see a, a, a formula happening. Absolutely. And you know they might. Oh, he might respond to Cat, or he, he might say something. Even about, Vlad TV starting to hate now. Oh, he's yeah. I heard he threw some shots at yeah. Shannon because tag Shannon is yeah, it now. Yeah, yeah. Shannon is the place to go yeah, yeah. to get that off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Side note: Parents always have cold words or cold phrases for your children. 
and 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 to, to to when they get on the phone with you, it sounds like they're asking you something regular, like, "Hey, well, my how's the cat doing?" I don't got and, no cat, and I don't have no cat. Yeah. Even if you do have a cat, if I ask you that, that means. Be on, be on the next thing yeah. smoking yeah. because somebody is, is I'm in danger. Yeah. So we always had cold sentences, even though my kids didn't spend a night nowhere. If you somewhere and you feel uncomfortable about something, I'm on the next thing smoking. You know what I mean? And so we did that. So you have to have these, you know, I saw my sister in the chat, you know, she always taught her kids about, mm -hmm. you know, with, with your private and all of that's great. But you got to have those cold because these people will be up on you, yeah. making sure when you're on the phone, you ain't saying nothing. So you have to teach them about regular conversation that triggers mommy and daddy to come and, 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 and put my hands on somebody. And I'm not asking no questions. Oh, listen, listen. No questions being asked. Listen. You know, just have those cold words. I, 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 saw, I saw a comedian talk about the first time he held his child and realized, like, like the, the depths you will go if somebody hurt. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bro, I, <laughs> I you, you don't even want to <laughs> fathom the possibilities of what I would do to you. My yes. goodness. My yes. goodness. That's a fact. All right. Um, let's take let's talk about some more stuff. Yeah. Go. You are Go. tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So I read that uh Kobe's parents sold his championship rings from the two, from the early From 2000s. the first championship, yeah. From the first championship. And um, Shannon, speaking of Shannon, had a lot to say about it. He didn't like it. Um, Gilbert Arenas was just like, yo, if they don't got money, they need it. They obviously needed the money for something. Yeah. And that was my stance on it as well. Mm -hmm. Clearly, if they willing to sell, to part with something of that sentimental value, that means they were in a, a tight spot and they definitely needed it. So I think the conversation should be on why they needed it. Yes, Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and from my perspective, I understand. Let's go all the way back. You know what I'm saying? When, you know, Kobe was doing his thing. When he met Vanessa, his family did not accept that. Yeah. For whatever reason. Maybe they thought he was too young mm. at 18 or night, however he was when he got married. He got married in 01, I think it was. So. He came into the league in yeah. 96. He was 18. So 01, he was 23, 24. Mm. Okay, and maybe they felt, who is this girl he met on this video mm. set that he's spending all of his time with? Mm. Uh, you know, maybe you should take a little bit more time, go, whatever mm. the case may be. And they didn't show up... To the wedding. To the wedding. That's tough. You know what I mean? That's, That's tough. very tough. That's tough, yeah. And, and, and their stance, for whatever reason, was, listen, we're not going to go. We don't want to be part of that. And that hurt him. Mm -hmm. That hurt him hard. Mm -hmm. And when it hurt him hard... You know, Kobe is like a, 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 a you know, a, 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 almost a narcissist mm -hmm. in everything he does. Like, he's very vain with it. And, you know, he he, he kind of like, he never he never got over it. Yeah. yeah. And, and I understand uh, to a certain degree, um, but I believe that there's nothing stronger. No one should come between a father, a, a son, Regardless, we just got to make this shit work. Yeah. yeah. Bottom line. Yeah. And so for whatever reason, because they try to sell his stuff before, yeah. some other stuff. Some high school memorabilia. But when when we don't have it yeah. and you sitting on $300 million, yeah. it, it it's still a little tough because, you know. That, that's, come on. Come that's, on. that's like, and so in hey, his. Because not only is, okay, that's not your, your husband's not here anymore, so you don't have to. That's your kids' grandparents. Yes, yes. And so, I don't, you know what I mean? Um, I, I, I don't for know. her to uphold something where she could go, you know what? Listen, uh, you know, I know you and Kobe, you know, you your job with You don't have to speak ever again. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to, but. Right, right. And so that's where my take is. Yeah. And obviously, if they sell in the ring, their ribs is touching. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if their ribs is touching, fifth year wedding anniversary tomorrow. Oh, congratulations. Congrats. I love it, since we're speaking about marriage and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Right? And so, you know, their ribs are touching. Yeah. And if my ribs are touching, I'm going to sell everything in this bitch that move. No disrespect. No. It's all I have. And I held out as long as I could. And your wife, still your wife, and my uh, grand, the mother of my grandchildren, throw, throw me a, a lifeline or yeah. something. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Now, that's from that perspective. The other perspective may be, 
you know, maybe they, they smooches. I don't know. But my parents can never be smooches if I'm sitting on uh, uh, 400 or $500 million. They could never be goddamn smooches. I don't care how mad I am. Ma, what you need? You know what I mean? All right, well, this and that. And you and my wife may never have to talk again. That is fine. Mm -hmm. But I'm never going to abandon you like that. Just my humble opinion. And I, agree. I agree. You know what I mean? Now, Shannon can speak that he, he was raised by his grandmother. Mm -hmm. And so maybe he has an inner beef because he mentioned something about his own mother. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So maybe his trauma, this triggers something within him. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying you're supposed to take care of every family member you got because you go broke. Yeah. But my mom's and dad is the only reason I existed. The only reason I yeah. existed. Yeah. And so... That alone is going to make sure I'm fucking pissed at you, Dad, but here it is. Go fix yourself up. Let me put something where you never, you may not be rich, but you ain't never going to need. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then hopefully over time, we can get on the phone with each other because obviously, you know, it is and, what it is. And life is short. And life is short. Jeez. This is the perfect example. Yeah. You're no longer here. Life is short. And I'm pretty sure if they both had another moment, yeah. they both would have did something different. You know what I mean? Yeah. His dad may have showed up to the wedding yeah. and said, well, you know, congratulations. And, you know, so it's one of those things. I don't know what Vanessa's stance is on these things. Yeah. Guys, I don't know how y'all feel about that. But anything, you know, my parents are the greatest thing that ever happened. And neither one of them, you know, mm -hmm. live spectacular lives, but their coming together is the reason I'm sitting in front of you, the reason he's sitting next to you, the reason Noble is at home oh, on his smartphone. And, you know, all of these things yeah, that's, that's are a... simply because my mother and father, at 15 years old, that is, yeah. didn't know what the hell they were doing, got together, and this magic took place. So... You know, when it says, honor thy mother and father, stop honoring them if they uh, 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 came to my ball game or, or did no, honor thy mother and father because they are your gods, so to speak. They're the reason that energy coming together gave you an opportunity. Shit, what you do with that opportunity is on you. It's on you. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know? interesting to think about, though, right? Yeah, it's very interesting yeah. shit. Yeah. And then their parents, and the, yeah. and the, this yeah. shit is just, I am because we are. Yeah. That shit is, that is, it, a fact. It, it's true shit. That you is know? a fact. Uh, you want to talk about this Otani story before we go to commercial? Yeah, we'll talk Otani, and then we'll we'll take a commercial break. Okay, so uh, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I think it was the day before yesterday, I got, I got word that uh, the Dodgers had fired... Um, show, uh, Shohai Otani's uh, interpreter. Yes. Because apparently they said he was siphoning money from Otani's account to uh, a sports bookie. Now, before I heard the sports bookie part, yeah, I thought he was just stealing. Me too, because I, I said they <laughs> Me too. In Japanese, <laughs> they probably said, "How much he getting? Fifty million? Yeah, I thought so too. Which meant, nigga, you getting thirty-seven yeah. million? Yeah. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. He was like, That's messed up. You know, but you know, just so that I heard that movie. I had that show Shogun on, on Hulu. It's fire. I gotta check it out. Oh, okay. It's about Japanese feud, like samurai stuff like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. That's yeah. good. Okay. And so that's what I thought. Yes. And I'm saying that's foul. So yeah. Come on, man. That's what I thought too, because I didn't see the the yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And then come to find out it was something else. It was yeah. sports betting, and then everybody was just like, uh so. Now, a lot of people are speculating that um, Otani just threw his interpreter under the bus. Yeah. Because that was actually him sports betting. Yes. And, yeah, that's, that's the conspiracy right now. And he probably was betting on his own games. You know, with $4 million, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to throw you under the bus in yeah. Japanese, yeah, yeah. in English, in yeah. China, Mandarin. Yeah. You you gonna have to take one for the team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have disgraced the Japanese people. I must die. Dishonor. <laughs> he should have did that shit right on national TV in front of every in front of everybody. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Tasha, you know, Shana, you're like, Hum. yeah. That, that's the way that shit's supposed to go down. You ain't supposed to send this nigga on a private jet back home. Yeah. And he's supposed to have a fucking samurai sword. Yeah, I hope, you know? I hope if, if that is the case, he did take one for the team. I hope he looks out for him for the rest of his life, though. You no, know, you have to go back to, to Yo, Japan. People pulling up old, like, <laughs> old tweets <laughs> of when, like, because you remember he took the short contract, so, like, the tweet was like, he's betting on himself, and people was looking like, mm. Mm. Yeah, he sure is betting he sure on himself. He sure is betting on himself. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he's an interesting player because he's not going to pitch all year. Which is ill. And he's still going to hit 350. Yeah, that is crazy. 47 home runs yeah. and 120 RBIs yeah. while he's healing. Yeah. That's some crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. Now, my Japanese man, he's going to yeah. be in here. He got yeah. beat up the first game. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They now, now, you know, he's going to come out and he's going to hold us down. No, that's great. That's great shit, man. Yeah, the, the Dodgers, that's Steve's team. Shout out real, real quick. Shout out to Steve. Shout out to Steve Canal. Steve hit me up because he we got the story wrong about the um Haitian we did. barbecue we did. guy. Yep, yep. We, we, they're not eating people. We we got some jokes in there, yeah, and we, uh, he didn't like that. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought it was for Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Steve, not, I just can't. I can't. Listen, these jokes write themselves, yeah. man. I gotta, I gotta go with the wind, Steve. You know, it's just what it is. So he's not eating people. That's not why they call him barbecue. But I think he, I saw other report that he does torch people. But you, that, that you, you, you hit me with that now. I did, I did. But you that's did. what I was reading too. So I got caught in the propaganda too. I got caught in the. I got caught in the as in soon the, as you said that, I said I'm gonna write a few jokes on that. Tonight's show yeah. is gonna be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. So, all right, now we'll take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. Don't touch the dial. I am a critical thinker, here to bless you with lyrical tinctures. I am the black dot, the point of reference, the metaphysical link to the Moors, the Mayans, the Aztecs, the Incas. I am here to remove the blind spots and clear the view of your spiritual blinker. I am something out of nothing. I am the alchemical bringer of change. My name will continue to linger. I am legend. If consciousness was a game, I would be considered a ringer. I am because we are. To all of you Dr. Sebi followers, I've got something for y'all. Discover the untold story of one of the most important healers of our time in Abelardo Guerrero Jr.'s book titled My Journey with Dr. Sebi. Visit www.myjourneywithdrsebi.com to place your order and receive a free copy of the audiobook with over four hours of exclusive content. Icons. Celebrities covering one eye who are sworn to secrecy to mislead the masses into a life of negativity by way of destructive behaviors, i.e. drugs, sex, violence, etc. Most of these celebrities you see in the music industry and in Hollywood have taken a sworn oath to protect what they have going and to have you being misled by using drugs, violence, and all of these other crazy behaviors. Be careful. Beware of those who are pointing at one eye, covering one eye, or trying their best to shut down your first eye. Log on to UrbanX.NYC for the latest in apparel or shop UrbanX.com to pick up the latest in our not-so-subtle tees. And we thank you for your support. Peace. Hello, wealthy family. This is Chanel, a setting infinite goddess, sending infinite thanks to your higher selves, your legions of angels, your ancestors, your spirit animals, and divine source itself for allowing us to continuously connect in this time and space. I am so grateful to be a beautiful vessel to assist you on your journey and help facilitate healing. Be sure to visit my website, www.ascendinginfinitegoddess.com, where you can view my blogs, exclusive videos, and schedule all of your services. I can also be reached at 786-828-8722. Be sure to also view my YouTube channel, where I have hundreds of videos for you on your spiritual journey. 
Thank you so much, Wealthy Family. And until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love. And we're back. And we are back. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Thank you guys for joining us every Monday and Thursday. Yes. Since yes. show one. We were just doing shows on Thursday then. Yes. But we appreciate you for being here. We really uh, do. If you're just joining us, I, I moving to Delaware. Moving to Delaware. I'm moving to Delaware. So uh, the show, us like this. It's not going to be like this. Yes. All right. Um, we are changing some things around, but we're still going to be here for you guys. But our presence will still be here. Yeah. Yes. But uh, the podcast, as you know it, won't be this way. Sad. Very sad. Sad. Very sad. And what you don't know behind the scenes, which will come out in the E! Hollywood special, me and Malcolm have been at each other's throats for the last six months. I don't know how mom and dad has kept us together yeah. to act like we're still a family yeah. and we are not. Yeah, yeah. Whew, man, when this E Hollywood story <laughs> come out and ooh, it's I'm going, going to, on Shannon next. I'm exposing everything. Exposing everything, Shannon. Shannon. I'm, I'm going on Shannon next. What's really been going on and shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? No, but we appreciate you guys' uh, support. Yeah. And uh, we got some other things we want to talk about. Yeah, shouts out to. Um, Little Goddess, I don't know if she wants us to use her name. Little Goddess is what we'll go with. Yeah, she sent us some uh, pain oils. Pain oils. That's good for your joints, muscles, bumps, bruises. Um, she included some different sizes for us so we can carry with us. Is it us. good for ugliness? Because I, you you could, uh, no? All right. All right, don't worry about that. I'll talk to her behind the scenes and cook up a potion and put it on your face. But go ahead, continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so we appreciate you. Thank you. Yes. So let's let's read this. I just read it. That's what she said. Oh, that's what you read. Where was I? You read all of these words? Dude, no, seriously. You read all of these words. I, I, I lived it. Did you sound them out? Okay. Th thank you, guys. Let me thank, read thank it. Thank you. Let me read it. Go ahead. Ad lib. Greetings, Dot and Malcolm. I thought that was addressed to us. That's why I didn't feel like we should be reading oh, it. Oh, yeah, too. that might be true. Yeah, she might have said some real stuff. This is why I'm leaving. This is why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, I can't deal with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, little goddess. Thank you. That is something personal. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, you know. Goodness. Yeah. yeah, I'm way out of pocket. Way out of pocket. Does she have a website yet? I didn't see a website, so. Okay. If, you, if you're in the chat, if you have a website, put it in the chat. Yeah, put it in the chat in case you're working out some stuff. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to do the split screen for other stuff. We are. Yeah. Yes, yes. Because uh, he is, he is like, if you missed it, my pops is very particular about the sanctity of this show and how it is currently and has been formatted since its inception. Yeah. He does not want to um, confuse the people with no. uh, a split screen, even though I think you would be outvoted. I think more people would vote for the split screen. Yeah, That's but, just what I mean, but, but my know. whole stand-up act is only to make you laugh. I could laugh on the, uh, on the screen. Seven seconds later. Hey, <laughs> 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 dad, dad, you crazy, it's man. That bad. Dad, you crazy, man. No, I don't think that's what, you know, then the shit, you know. Yeah, you're being dramatic. No, it should be all crazy. You're being dramatic. All of my jokes, got they got to fall where they fall on time. I got to be able to do this and, you know. Goodness. Yeah, that's well, what we're still going to do the UX90. Definitely. Oh, that goes still on. Still going to have exclusives. Yeah. Uh, Hulks, because now Hulks, he's doing yeah. them. I'm doing the Hulks now. I'm going to be doing uh, more content as well. I'm going to try to get. I'm going to try to get Avery on camera because she's been. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Family could, show. Yeah, I'm going to see if we could. Uh oh. You know, can hold on camera too. Uh oh. This much. See, see, the truth is coming out. Malcolm wanted to kill his father and start a family show with his girl. Yeah. <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to say. So you had to say. That's what You happened. didn't have to bring yeah. all this, but you moving. Y'all yeah. probably ain't even fucking moving. Just yeah. tell that nigga we moved yeah. and shit. And so we could do our shit. Cause yeah. you, you know, yeah, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. That's what happened. Malcolm Bryant. Oh, don't do that, Coach Wayne. <laughs> don't do that. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, with the screen freeze. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's why it's a lot that goes into. Yeah. Yo, we were doing lives 
Like our first like twenty episodes, like I went back to watch them, and it was always something going wrong. Either always. One mic would go out, the internet would freeze. The, it was always something, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious. We had hot mics. We be saying all kind of crazy <laughs> shit, thinking the mic is off. It did, we were just man, we was wilding. We was wilding. Yeah. We was wilding. Oh man. All right, so let's get to some more stuff. Yep. You're listening to the sounds of Urban X. Let's get to some more stuff. So, um, oh, yo, guys. So this, uh, the Al- this Alabama, this, Al- this lineman from the University of Alabama. His name is Caden. Wait, uh, 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 Proctor. Proctor. Caden Proctor. Right. He transferred from Alabama, and I believe he transferred from. He entered the transfer portal after Nick Saban uh, resigned. Mm-hmm. After he quit, he transfers to Iowa. Got a bunch of money, got a hundred thousand dollars for you know, and I have some boosters and stuff like that. Then two months later, re-enters the transfer portal to go back to Alabama. Mm-mm-mm. I think this is going to ruin the transfer portal because I people were already fed up with it. Yes. With how like they gotta rebuild an entire team from yes. scratch. Like, yo, these kids are just like I think he's gonna ruin it for everybody. They're gonna use this as a presence to go, look. Yeah. Especially now, because you who knows what you got to, if you got that money from boosters? Right. Whose money is long, they're gonna go to the NCAA like, yo. Not, not, they ain't gonna forget, they're gonna show up at your game. That too. Nigga. That too. You think you're gonna walk away with $100,000 of, of, of boosters' money? That too. I don't think so. You think you suck at us? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. And so it creates a nasty, and I'm not against players. I liked it better the other way. If you transfer, you had to sit out a year. I, that's what I thought. Because, and again, just to discourage this. That, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Because I don't happen. want you to just look at it from the universities getting money. I'm not talking about that. The NIL, I'm all cool with. Yeah. You know, you get your sponsorship. That's, you what, make I, your that's money. what I thought they should but do. But the transfer piece, because it's hard to build any team where now Duke can bounce. And, and and they should be, if you transfer in the portal, you should have to stay a year before you come. He went in the portal and came yeah. back to him. This nigga went through a wormhole. They said that he just um went to see Caitlin Clark, who, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. it, and came back yeah. with 100,000 strong. Yeah, that's crazy. And I be goddamn if goddamn yeah. 290-pound Negro gonna, gonna beat us like that of our goddamn money. We going down there. I got, matter of fact, got family down in Alabama. (laughs) We might own that nigga family. What's that nigga last name? Proctor. Somebody said coaches don't have to sit out a year when they take a new job. What do you think about that? That's different. And it's only different because the team is still going to be intact. Mm -hmm. Now, if coaches start, I never seen a coach do this either. I never seen a coach go to a a different school, sign a contract, Mm -hmm. and then jump back through the portal and go back to his old team and start coaching that team. So we're not talking about you having the option to go to another team. I'm talking about you going to another team, getting 100000 yeah. not playing one down, That's crazy. and then coming back through the porthole. Who knows if Alabama didn't set that up? Who knows if they wasn't in on the cahoots? I don't know what this is about. That's true. You yeah. know what I mean? And so from that perspective, because monkey see, monkey do. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, Proctor got over with that yeah. shit. Now let me put myself out there, yeah. get some NIL and some boosters to... You know, because the boosters have said, come yeah, on he probably because he probably got two bags now. Because the Alabama boosters are probably like, yo, they only gave you 100. Yo, come, come back. Give you two. Right. And so now he's going to get another bag. And when you start playing with people's money like that. And, and that's, yeah, that's dangerous, That's bro. dangerous. That's what I'm talking about. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Forget you have an option to go through. If you go through, I think you should have to. That's the decision. Mm-hmm. You can't go through it to the next year. And, and, if, and it can't just be bumped. Ping ponging through the goddamn portal. I said, because what's to stop him? Sorry, I'm going to a third team now. Yeah, you yeah. know, oh y'all, oh, oh y'all got 150 dollars coming over there. Yeah. Even even y'all, even y'all favorite Deion Sanders don't like it. Yeah, yeah, even he like, come on. Man. Even Deion crazy. Sanders is like, you, I think you should have to sit a year, or either sign a uh, 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 letter of intent. You have to stay there at least a year, at least one year. So you go through the portal. That's your right. Yeah, you should have to stay. For at least a year, because he could go through four or five times. And then, and then what are we what are we teaching? Right, like that you don't honor your commitments. Like what are we teaching? Not right. to say again, I, I'm but all this for is, players getting but paid. But this is the get money era. Yeah, yeah. any way you can get money yeah. era. 
So that's why I want to make it clear. I'm not against the NIL. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. Me you too. should. These colleges are making money. You should be able to make money, too. But with ping-ponging back and forth, you make it messed up for the ones who really need to transfer and give themselves a shot. Because now I'm looking at... And what you're going to find out, because I'm doing uh, uh, some interviews mm -hmm. with our uh, man uh, Derek from Gorilla... Uh, Gorilla Prince. Gorilla Prince Athletics, is that they're they not looking for high school kids no more. Yeah, they're looking for college kids. Because why? Transfers. They're looking for transfers. Yeah. Why should I take a kid who ain't never been on a yeah. college campus... Runny nose, don't know nothing about college life. Mm -hmm. When I could just look through the portal for somebody who's been in college, knows at least a system. Mm -hmm. So I'm not looking. When they was looking for 10 and 15 high school kids, they're looking for four now. Yeah, and you got to be good. And you got to be the best yeah. of the best. And so this, there is a ripple down, trickle down effect yeah. to, to this portal situation. And Lord knows he made a good uh, comment as well about the bowl games because how many players transferred? They made the, the they opened up the transfer portal like right before the so bowl games. So now dudes ain't playing the bowl game, which is like yo, what? Certain dudes is like, nah, I ain't playing because I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm good. I, I can't play because yeah. I went through the portal. Yeah. So now I'm not eligible to play, and now the the competition of the bowl game goes down. Yeah. 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 So. Just something said, to they're think gonna, about. Yeah, they're going to hurt the... Yeah, like, that's, like, some real, like, you know... Yeah, and there should be some integrity. That's just, it. You know, just a little bit. A little bit of integrity. And Because and, and, what happens when we have these conversations that, like, people get so caught up in the, let these black kids get their money. I, I'm, I'm not I, talking I don't care about... about no, no, I no know. morals, no, and no that's, and ethics, that's, no. I don't care about Just get your money, black man. I get it. But what does that create in exactly. the grand scheme of things? Exactly, yeah. You know what I mean? So just get your money at all costs. That's why this country is in the condition it is now. Talk about it. You know what I mean? Because everyone is just out to get their money. Okay. That's why Hollywood can turn that into a fuck fest, mm -hmm. a, a cesspool of bullshit because everyone is just out to get their money. Yeah. And you know what I mean? And that's why there's no loyalty in hip hop or anywhere because everyone is just out to get their bag. And I'm not against getting your bag, but where's the integrity, the loyalty to something, to each other? Something, yeah, something. God damn. Yeah. Shit. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So I saw a um, video of this Asian woman. I think she was in Queens. And she was, uh, apparently there were squatters living in her, the house that her mom. Million dollar home. Million dollar home that her mom left her. The squatters living in there. But because they've been in there so long, she can't legally, she has to like go through the court system to get them out. And then she changed the locks. They came back. One of the squatters came back. And because they came back, he called the cops. The cops had to arrest her. Ain't that something? Bro. And I, I just saw another story on the New York Post about uh, this mother in New York City who was killed because I think squatters, I think the squatters had killed her the stuff in a duffel bag. And then I saw another story. Ooh. I think it's in another state about squatters as well. So now that is like the new, I don't know what they're about to do with it. I don't know what they're about to do. Yeah. I'm just, it's just one of those things where like, when you, once you start to see it everywhere and it, it starts to become like the, uh, a and new cycle. And once you start killing the owners, yeah. and now nobody's Arre coming to check on yeah. the house. Ar no, even arresting owners. I can't, I legally can't do nothing. No, no. Something's going to so change that. So that squatter's rule has been around and, and it varies in different states mm -hmm. and so forth. But if you bust into my house and I can't, and see, this is why I, I was watching the guy on TikTok. Mm -hmm. He was a lawyer mm -hmm. for this kind of stuff. He said, first and foremost, you put an alarm system around the entire house, every window. You put the ringtone. Mm -hmm. Now, when somebody breaks in, mm -hmm. it's a police matter. Yeah. And he said, pay the $30 a month to, yeah. so it'll trigger the police department. Yeah. Sir, somebody uh, broken. Yes, it does look like somebody mm -hmm. has broken into my house. And when they go there now, it is a police matter. Yeah. And you have a better chance. But they bank on, I've been watching this house, nobody's been coming in that shit for two weeks, we gonna live there. Yeah. And you don't come and pay nobody to check out the house or this and that. And once they plant 
and and get them fake leases that they can get at any uh you know yeah. uh, a goddamn postal store. Yeah, and then the, the one that happened in Queens, he was like, "Yeah, I paid rent to so and so," and then everybody they're like, "Who the hell is so and so?" Yeah, like, yeah. And, oh, oh, well, I don't have it was, a, it was a squatter, then it was a sub squatter, yes. then another sub yes. squatter. It was crazy, yes. bro. Yes, and but and they said. The courts can take two years, yeah. two and three years to figure this thing out. So you in my house for two and three yep. years? And we, we on a couple of shows ago, we talked about what's happening in Atlanta. Yes. Right? Yes. They just stealing houses. That, yo, do you, a house? Don't let the Moors get involved. Oh. <laughs> Them niggas will steal your house. Them niggas will show you their birth certificate ain't real. None of this deed is not real. I gave you motherfuckers 30 days. No, the more shit will be deep. Even the courts will be like, listen, I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. I've never seen this before. Fucking Moors come in and start breaking the law down, and they know that shit inside and out. Your Honor, we, well, first of all, you're not the real judge. <laughs> I need to see the real judge of this. It's no case, Your Honor. <laughs> and, you know, based on the 30 days yeah. notification, we notified this letter and gave you 30 days. You didn't respond. We on the whole goddamn court <laughs> system. You be like, what? Matter of fact, everybody give me your keys. Everybody give me your keys up in here. Oh, and shit, you be yeah. like, man, so you better hope the Moors don't get your house. Yeah. You better hope they're just squatters who just want some, you know, we going to stay here. Because if the Moors get it, there's a, there's a, shit, there's a, it's a um, rap. There's a migrant right now on TikTok, and he's making TikTok showing Pete, showing other migrants how to get in the country, how to get in somebody's house, how to become a squatter, how to... Ugh. Yeah. The whole run... The, That's why, like, I'm, I'm hearing the word too much now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's just, like, it's just kind of taking over yeah. the timeline. It's like, all right, they're about to do something with this. Either, um... Shit, I might try that. Give me all the details. Yeah, Shit. like either I think... Mama Dot, you want to get us a nice house in the Beverly Hills? That's <laughs> one of them vacation homes that one of them celebrities yeah. ain't been in. And we'll be like, excuse me, no, we own this. Yeah, the Venezuelan dude. Yeah, like either, yeah. either like um, people are going to start taking it into their own hands because that's what happened. That also happened recently as well. Mm -hmm. So they call them vig vi uh, vigilantes. Like they took a bunch out the house, some squads out the house. Either that's going to happen, somebody's going to die. Yeah. Um, something's gonna happen with these migrants that is gonna make it for a juicy narrative in election time. Yeah, well me and wifey are going uh somebody said I'm a more only the dirty moors do that. Hey, 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 bae, I'm just telling jokes, man. I'm just having a good time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But but um me me and Mama Doc going to Beverly Hills. If we if I swing, I'm swinging for the fences. You got to. Swimming pool. Got to, yeah. Uh, a nine car garage, upstairs, downstairs. When they come to the door, I'll be in my robe mm -hmm. with a pipe. Good yeah. evening. How yeah. are you? Yes. Uh this is the new Bowser Estates. Motherfucker shit. You got damn right. No, but you be ready to kill somebody, bro. Um, I'm so, uh, I figured, uh, what, what state was this? That migrants are allowed to carry guns? They're trying to get migrants to... I, see, I don't know what the legal, like, what the logical justification for, for that to be. What would that, like... Chaos. That's crazy. Chaos in the streets. What you think them police cities are going to be built for? Yeah. Chaos in the streets. Side note, there is one squatter who's a multimillionaire. Oh. And he's in California, and he squats. You know, he has the money. Mm -hmm. He takes these people out. He just stop paying the rent. So he don't bust in the window. Yeah. He comes in. They check his credit. Oh, he's a millionaire. And he rents an estate. So, yeah, and he just stops paying. So, like, yeah. They got to change those laws, bro. And like, he be there for five or six. They said he's a serial squatter. They got to change the laws. He no? just like, go from well, house so what to house. That, so what does that do for real estate? Yeah. People who own real estate, people who are landlords, what does that do for them? That's why I'm not into the landlord business, because if I come to get my bread, yeah, yeah, yeah. my bread got to be there, because yeah. I know enough hood niggas <laughs> to run up in your shit for a yeah, I'm gonna just, smoke. I'm going to just wait for you to come out, and it's going to be over. Yeah. I'm gonna you know make you saying? not want to bring, like, get I, your stuff. You know I mean? mean, you might get hit by a car. <clears throat> I mean, something is going to happen. Yeah, just pay. Yeah, just guys, pay attention to that. I'm yeah, telling yeah, you, something gotta happen. Pay attention to that because it just doesn't make sense. Like, yeah. I yeah. don't know why that's the thing. Um, there was a guy 
who 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 flipped two dollars on Flint on FanDuel. My nigga, that flip. He had a, a, a what he hit with what you call it? The parlay. Parlay. He parlay of parlays. All right, he flipped two dollars. Two dollars. Fifteen hundred. Ooh. Then couldn't get his money. Ooh. Why couldn't he get his money now? Child support. Ah, <laughs> God damn it. Child support. You mean even when I'm out here gambling? Yeah. Child support child got to support. be paid. God damn it. And you know how that must feel, bro? First yeah. of all, I had a two dollar parlay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For fifteen, this is on some miracle yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That means LeBron had to score twelve. Yeah, man. He had, had to get seven rebounds. Had to go right. They got to get four steals. Yeah. And they got to get nine rebounds. And they got to get a charge. Draymond had to smack a nigga. Everything had to go right. Yeah. And you go, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, because it's all digital, yeah. you like, uh, cash out. Yeah. <laughs> I want, maybe it's just a uh, maybe it's just a glitch, you know. Like, uh, cash out, and then they go. You see a picture of your little fucking son. You, ah, yeah. This little motherfucker. God damn it! I can't win even when I win. Oh my god. That's, that's bad. Let the yeah. little. It's only fifteen hundred. Yeah. Damn. 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 I mean, so or you could look at it like you know what. It's good, you know. I wasn't that wasn't my fifteen hundred anyway. Like Malcolm, I didn't get it, Malcolm, and listen, it's going to my kids. Malcolm, I'm already. I got seven kids. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already working to just feed the kids. It's 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 a travesty out here for some of these people on child support. Yeah. And now I get a little bump. Yeah. My tax return is already gone. Yeah. Because that went to the kids. <laughs> so God, Jesus took the wheel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he and won't he do it he, every time. And I get a little bump, and then you take the bump. Yeah. Come on. That's rough. That's, no, that's just rough. rough. That's God rough. Damn it. That is rough. Yeah, the baby mom's one fits in yeah. She's like, ooh, <laughs> want to get my nails and hair done. Yo, gambling is getting out of hand. Like, now they're going to, like, on, on, I think, NBA TV, you can start, like, betting on the games directly from there. Yeah. On NBA TV. Like, they're yeah. making it way too easy, easy to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Way too easy, and, man. And, you, and, and so players are involved. Managers on people are involved, mm. but remember in the '80s, people can lie all they want. Magic Johnson was shaving points. Oh yeah, yeah. Magic Johnson was shaving points. Allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> Truth. Allegedly. Yeah. You know. Obviously. Allegedly. Obviously. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Right. So we know he was shaving points. Yeah. He's out there in Hollywood, mm -hmm. hanging out with Whistler's face, the owner of the team. Mm -hmm. Jerry Buss. Some niggas just going on wild ass parties. Mm -hmm. And he he just had such control of the game. He had the ball in his hand the whole time. Now you know Michael Jordan. I'm not even gonna hit. <laughs> I'm not even hitting the alleged button. <laughs> Michael Jordan was cheating uh. and shaving points and betting on games. Allegedly, I'll hit Allegedly. that just because it's our last goddamn show. What they gonna do? Shit. And so, you think they're the only ones? The ones who have control? Look, look, we just did something on 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 uh, Bruno uh, Mars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So the mob guy on Vlad TV, I saw yeah. the referee. What's mm -hmm. his name? Donahue. Donahue. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because the ref can easily give a star player two quick fouls. Yeah. Uh, you got to go to the bench. Yeah. I, know, I know the way the yeah. coach thing goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two quick fouls. He's going to be out until uh, uh, middle of the second quarter. Yeah. If you get four fouls, you won't see this nigga until fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Right? And so they have ways to do that. So you can't tell me that that's not a thing that takes place. Yeah. And now it's just openly betting. Everybody can can can, can roll the dice on things. Mm -mm. It's, it's, it's too, and then like they wondering like why players are betting like cause it's right there. Cause, I, cause I'm bored. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, a multi millionaire. I'm sitting at home or in a hotel yeah. with nothing to do. I'm 23 years old. Why not bet a little something? And then and then or give my man some bread. Give my it. man some bread. Let him do it. Yeah, and we flip that money. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, bro. Yeah. It's just too easy. Yeah, way too easy now. Right. Yep. Let's get some more stuff. You are tuned into the sound. P. Rose definitely needs to be in, in a Hall of Fame. Come on, man. But he he was betting on his own games, you know. And he the manager and yeah. shit. Man. <laughs> you come you, out. You, hey, you. Bring, <laughs> what? He's hot right now. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. I, I'm trusting. I just feel like it'll be him. Yeah, his ERA is 7.2. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> bring him in for the clothes yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. So um, Apple is being sued by, I think, the Department of Justice for uh, monopoly, for, for having a monopoly on smartphones in the U.S. Do they have a monopoly? I don't I don't know how... A lot of Samsung users. That's what I'm saying. So I think... A lot of Nokia phone users. I think this is because they are not... They, Apple doesn't allow them to get into the phones during investigations. That's probably what it is. So they're trying to just kind of... Yep, because I, I like that. Think about the TikTok stuff. Mm -hmm. It's connected to... Even though it's a different thing, mm -hmm. privacy. Yeah. We need to be able to control people's... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And look in on people. Yeah, exactly. And that's probably exactly what it is. Exactly. Yep. I would not be surprised at that at all. So that's what I think it is. Also, I saw... Hold on. I want to get this name right. Yes, because... LeBron is cheating, too. He's shaving points, too. <laughs> <This> guy, <laughs> Jesus. They're all shaving points. <laughs> um, this guy. I'm going to get his name. Yes, we will still always have new merch. And we'll be hitting you on the email list. Give us your email address. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, shop, uh, UrbanX.NYC, you get a free exclusive episode when you sign up for our email list. Ooh, gang. Or you can just sign up for the membership, get seven days free. Talk that fancy stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. But um, this guy named Steven uh, Munchkin, mm -hmm. he is trying to buy TikTok, but apparently he is linked to the Mossad. Mm. Mm. So I thought, uh, what's his face? The head of the Mossad was going to, uh, so he put his man out there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they don't like the propaganda yep. coming in about uh, Israel and things of that nature. Yo, so. this is the first time in, I think, forever, right? When I think the overall sentiment uh, on Israel is negative. Yep. Like, just like the overall, everybody just going like, nah. Because they keep running the same. Yep. And people yep, yep, yep. Are, are tired of I, it. Yep. And, and, and the awareness level, we going... No, that's not what's going on. We know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. We got you. It's a, and so now they're reeling for the first and time. And they're panicking, ever, like, wait. And like, panicking, like, run that operation. Yeah. Run that operation. Mm -hmm. None of that stuff is sticking. The people are going, nah, yep. man. What y'all doing over there in Gaza is wrong, man. Yeah. And we all in unison and unified. And it's Cause wrong. Because the, 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 um, the response when they when they talk about Gaza, when people talk about Gaza and it's a debate, they go, well, they are, you know, um, you, the, Hamas was using, okay, but what y'all are doing yes. to the guy is wrong, and Absolutely. I just don't support that. Yep. But you're into, no, 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 what y'all are doing with the... We got, we're not coming off that point. Yeah, and that's it's what wrong. You, every debate, when you're debating somebody, don't let them miss the point. This exactly. is what we're talking about. Don't let them move because it over here. Because they keep trying to move it. Don't let them move it yeah, over yeah. here. Move Don't the let them move it over here. And deflect. I agree. That's Don't what's happening. Don't let them do it. That's what's happening. Um, I saw another story that I wanted to get to. Oh, real quick before we go to commercial break. Uh, the Society of Magical Negroes, that opened up and they only made a million dollars at the box office. One million dollars? Yeah. That is it. Totally. That, yeah. Give me the thesis of the story once again. Oh, the, it's a society of uh, magical... Magical right? Negroes. Magical Negroes, and their job is to make sure white people are happy. Make sure they're not angry, because when white people get angry, bad stuff happens. So it's our job. However, if you are in the society and you don't keep a white man happy, or a white person happy, we all lose our power. So... Holy this, shit. The, one of the people that was... One, the, the new kid, he was a mixed kid... He fell in love with a white girl. His friend, who was a white man, fell in love with the same white girl. So they're like, you know, you. he was risking the society for that love of that white girl. Well, I get the premise of that because ain't nothing but a, a Negro will, will <laughs> throw it all away for a white woman. <laughs> Nigga will throw everything away for yeah. it. So that part of the story, they got true. <laughs> it's kind of accurate. That's kind of <laughs> accurate. Nigga will be like, we be like, look, all you got to do is not fuck with this white woman. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do it. Like, we all are going to die. I am because we are. You, we, we one entity, and yeah. your job is to keep these white people happy. Yeah. You know, shucking and jiving. Keep them dancing. Keep, keep, keep out there yeah. dancing and shucking yeah. and jiving. And then you go ahead and cross the line and fall in love yeah. with white woman, and we could all lose our powers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
I guarantee you, if that was the case, niggas, we'd have been where we are now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so only a million dollars. And it was crazy because, like, people were, um, the some of the actors, David Allen Greer and um, one of the other actors, they were, like, basically uh, confused at why people were so angry at the trailer and they didn't understand the trope. And we were like, no, we got it. Nigga, we, we, did you read the script? We understood, Nigga? bro. We got it. We understood fully. We are here to appease white people. Yeah. We are the secret organization, the Illuminati of niggas. Yeah. This is, this and is our a... job, oh, boule. The boule, oh, the yeah. keepers of the secret, keep the rest of the, but a little bit reversed. Yeah. Protect white people. We yeah. let a few of you niggas up front, you the magical Negroes. And uh, your job is to keep the regular black folk from figuring out, you know what I mean? And you guys are the wall that protect us white people. Uh, so it's sort of like a weird little, uh, you know, it, you know, just something to think about. Something to think about, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Red pill would say, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Yeah. I didn't even do that. I didn't even do that. Yeah. Okay. Because that's their job, to keep... The keepers of the secret. There's a um, a, there's a movie uh coming out and it's based in the UK though, and it's like a uh, magic, but it's not like it, it looks like a good story. I'm actually excited. I forget what the name of it was, but okay. it had to do with some like magic and stuff like that, and he can go into the future. It, it that looked really really good. It wasn't like gang related. It wasn't like drug related. Right, so right, right. I was actually intrigued about that. I'm gonna check that out. Okay, thank you for the cash app. Abriella, so why I only make a million? Because people, Vika. I think a lot of, I think a lot of black people, a lot of people saw the premise and were just like, no, nah, I'm not supporting this. No, no, I'm not supporting. One, movies are not really making a lot of money anyway. No, but I'm not gonna support a movie where you telling me I have to cater, yeah. to white folks openly. Like that's like openly. Just, it wasn't even like subtle. It wasn't it's, a movie where okay. You know, because like, you, you know, see, no matter I how need black to, the I need movie to have to break is. that now. Yeah, right, right. I need, he, he can just... What, like, yeah, I need to, yeah, I need a solo don't have to do a whole yeah. breakdown. But unless he's taking a real different angle. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Usually, no matter what kind of black movie we get, we get a white hero. Yeah. I'm used to that. Okay, there's going to be a white hero in this movie. No matter how black power the yeah. movie is, it's going to be somebody white who did something. I get that. But not a whole movie where you up front honestly just saying we have to make white people's lives easier. Real but that I, is the boule. Thank you to uh, uh, Umbrella. Yep, yep. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. And so uh, let's take a quick commercial break and we shall return. Yes, let's do that. Hey, son, uh, 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 did, did, did you put up the Urban X t-shirts for the family I told you? And, uh, 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 and why are you dressed like that, son? Pop, after reading the ISIS papers 37 and a half times, I am woke now. Uh, uh, woke? Son, it, it, it's four in the afternoon. What do you mean, woke? I, I've been woke all day trying to get you to get in here and do these shirts for the Urban X family. Uh, Malcolm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Malcolm is my slave name. I am grown by Brother Mustafa Imhotep X squared. You refer to me as Brother Mustafa Imhotep X squared. Uh, you big dummy! I named you Malcolm after the greatest activist of this time. You know how to put one right across your lips. You crazy? Pop, I've been working in this shop by myself. This is worse than working for the white man working with you. Now, now, now son, you know I would help you if I didn't, if I didn't have. My arthritis, uh, you know what I'm saying? So you got to do the best you can do. Uh, I'm, I'm going to still need you. I'm not even getting paid. If it wasn't for the donations from the Urban X family, thank you for the $20 next time send $40. Uh, 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 son, 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 who you talking to? Uh, son, son, who, who's at the door? Oh, God, oh. Then it hurt my eyes. I was already having a bad day with this big dummy. AOD, uh, what brings you around today? Malcolm, Dot, to preach the word of Jesus. One thing I have realized, if Jesus don't do it, it just won't get done. I said if Jesus don't do it, it just won't get done. You know, no, no, all this old Jesus stuff is, is, is got me going crazy. I don't listen to none of that crazy stuff. You all heathen, you need Jesus. And, 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 and you need to get your face lifted or, or your body lowered. 
Come on, bug eyed fool. Who you talking to like that? Come on, Pop. Yeah, 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 you right, you right. I, I, I shouldn't have said that. Now, 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 OD, I want you to go in the fridge and, and get out the cookie dough. For what? So you can slam your face in it and make animal cry. Come on, Pop, you can't talk to a nuclear queen like that. Yeah, yeah, you right, son. You right, you know what? Tell you what you can do. I'm, give me an Urban X gift card and get you some t-shirts and hats. And, 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 and too bad we ain't got no face masks. Oh, that's it. You old bug eye fool. Yeah. Get you right here. Put you right off your lips. Wait a minute. You better get on out of my house. I'm get leaving. Get on out of here. I'm leaving. Get on out I'm of gone. here. All right, Pop, I'm going to stop messing with you. I got a hot day tonight. What you going to take out one of them beautiful African uh, uh, Nubian queens that you been telling me all about? Maybe. <laughs> oh, mama. This is the big one. I'm coming to join you, mama. I named him Malcolm X in hopes that he would marry a Betty Shabazz. Uh, I think he's gonna bring home uh, a Betty Cracker. It's by the nick of time. Yeah, my bad. And we are back. Yes. Thank y'all for joining us. We appreciate you always being yes. here with us, rocking with us, supporting us. We love you guys. Yes, all that good stuff. Absolutely. All of that good stuff. That wearing a, 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 a moon hump. <laughs> That's one of my favorite uh, skits in Sam from the Sun. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. That was a really good yeah, one. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Somebody said, Malcolm has a white woman. I said, I don't. I have a black woman. That's right. You know what I mean? All that. <laughs> All right, so let's get to some more stuff, man. Yes. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. Beyonce announced the title of her new album, Cowboy Carter. I like it. She said it is not a country album. It's a Beyonce album. Huh. And she had it uh, 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 like a whole like uh, projected thing on the Guggenheim Museum downtown Manhattan. Yes. And apparently the Guggenheim didn't approve it. It was like, what the hell is this? Mm. What the hell are you doing? But um, did you see it? She's on the White Horse again, the second album. Yeah, but according to Ani Asuru, okay. uh, this is the fourth album and she's on a horse. I, I know the Renaissance one she was. And so to represent the four horsemen. Pale horse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The whole, the pale, pale horse. horse. Yeah. It's the last one. So. Uh, you know, and she's got all American, uh, you know, stuff on. I get it. Uh, Azalea Banks blasted her again. What did she say this time? It, it was too much to read. I'm not gonna lie. She, she, like, she, it's too much to read right now, but she blacked out about how, you know, just uncreative the thing, like, the, the, the title is, and she went into her, uh, uh um, you know, cosplaying country, cosplaying a white woman, and, because she does look Crazy. Yeah, hair. yeah, yeah, she does. Right? Not not even just the blonde hair, the platinum blonde hair, but then the uh, red uh red, white, and blue on the on the white horse, like the the super pale skin. She looks weird. She guys. looks fucking weird. She just looks weird. looks weird, guys. And and even Erica Badu has something to say because of the beads. Oh okay. you know what I mean? And and you know, cause she was the first one to kind of do that. But um uh just again, very American ish. Uh, looking like a white woman on a on a white horse, uh, raising the American flag. It's just, it's it's giving off uh, some weird vibes. My mother wanted me to talk about uh, what's this lady? Uh, uh, her name is Tana Adele, black woman apparently, but she sings country. My mother's like, that's real country. Uh, okay, so okay. I want you to talk about her on your next show. I'm all right, like, all right. Okay. I've never heard of her music. Yeah, it, uh, she has a, she has a good song. It's called like Buckle Bunny or something like that. My mother like it's made me sit down. And watch her video. Oh, and, okay, okay. Because that Beyonce message is just, ugh. ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, Beyonce is very arrogant in the sense that, and I know what people, some people are going to say was all our music. Okay, let's start there. It's all our music, right? But if it's all our music and you're doing it because you love the music is one thing. So, for instance, whatever this lady's name is. Tanner. Tanner, yeah. who's probably... In it because she loves the music. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Mm. I'm pretty sure 
if I uh, tried, I could produce a track. Mm -hmm. I've never been a producer in my life, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I yeah. can do it. If you know, but don't mean I should do it. Yeah. There was a time when if you couldn't rap, you didn't rap. Yeah. Right. And so the arrogance of saying now, some people were saying this was her mission all along to come through R and B, to come through pop, to come through house, uh, house to come through country and show that, you know, she's ascending through all of these forms. And there may be some metaphysical principles behind that. I can't really mm. say they're not. But just because you can make country music does not mean you should. And so I want to hear the music first, because I always tell you guys, yes. before I make a full judgment, I'm going to hear the music. Yes. And I'm going to have it bumping in my house because my wife rock with Beyonce, mm. Odyssey mm. rock with Beyonce. Mm. Mm -mm. You know, you know, mm -mm -mm. they they like, I don't mm. care that shit you talking about. <laughs> Beyonce is on. So if the music bumps, it bumps. I, I gotta, a, I, you know what I mean? I if I learn something more about her through yeah. this renaissance into country music, I, I'll live with it. I had to talk to my friends, and then I said that I, if Beyonce, like, say, what would what would happen to YouTube and the internet if Beyonce just showed up on the Drink Champs episode? And, and just, wild just like, out. yo, let's, shoot, let's talk. Then, yep. shit, Pop the bottles. Let's talk. Yo, that would break. It would break it. It would break YouTube. Yeah. Yep. But I just think that her and Jay-Z, they're stuck in this early 2000s thing where you, you're not approachable. You're not yes. like, I don't even know what she sounds like anymore. I don't know what her talking voice yeah, sounds like anymore. Absolutely. She's so important now, she don't even talk. How about that? And this nigga turned into Basquiat or some shit. Yeah. Somebody, you know what I mean? And so they walk around untouchable, uh, you know, unapproachable. And like you said, that was the template for 20 years ago. Now you have to be approachable. You have to be down to earth. You have to be relatable. You know, you have to be the people's champ, so to speak, mm -hmm. or the people's queen or yeah. whatever. And, and, and how long can you run this where you are above? And I'm just going to be honest. Beyonce has an average voice to me. She's never had a voice that blew the hinges off. She's a great performer. Mm -hmm. So she can dance and, and lights and bells and whistles. And I'm not taking away anything from the way she rehearses and does. But her voice, uh-uh, it's not all there. Mm. And she's a bird. <laughs> To keep it 100. If, if she talks more than three <laughs> sentences, you sense she's a bird. She might be functional yeah, literally. Yo, people been, yo, She might be functional the People literally. in the chat were like, literally just saying mm, that. Mm. Guilty a bird. <laughs> she, she, ah, she be trying to say something real important. Yeah. Uh, I'd be like, I'm not sure she can read. Like if I said, <laughs> read the teleprompter. <laughs> you know, just keep it in the bean. Just keep oh, it in the bean with you. Funny. I'm just gonna keep it in the bean with you. You know what I mean? I don't, know a bird when I see one. Don't snitch on us to the hive, please. Oh no, this is the Dear last God. show. This is the last Dear show. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, man, so um, Elon Musk, he put the Neuralink into the first patient who was, he. I think he was a paraplegic, and he was playing chess with his mind. Nigga, can he walk? <laughs> no. No, no disrespect, but when you get was, to the he's point... He's paralyzed, controlling. He looks like a paraplegic. Nigga, dude. nigga, nigga. And I'm not being funny. No one said his mind didn't work. No, but he's controlling it nigga, through his mind. Nigga, control your legs. Then I'm super impressed. Then I'm on board like, yo, Eli, I don't, I don't know if you understood, but Elon Musk is making some... Don't tell me, <laughs> nigga, I could be in the motherfucking remote control chair and control that shit with my mind, nigga. Oh, my God. And talk through the computer. <laughs> I could do that shit. He can move a chess piece with his mind. <laughs> Nigga, can you move your legs? That's a breakthrough. Oh you didn't gosh. say the nigga was in a coma mm -hmm. and can play chess with his mind. Now, okay, because nigga's brain yeah. dead, this nigga moving chess yeah. pieces. I'm a paraplegic. I need your help, Elon Musk. Yeah. And you're going to teach me how to play chess? 
No, I want to do this, my nigga. Uh, I want to do this shit. I don't know. Yeah. No disrespect to anybody who's paraplegic. You know I have a son who's disabled. I want to be the first one to break the news to this nigga. We going inside your head, nigga. Yeah. Elon done figured this shit out. <laughs> Ball game, nigga. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we doing this shit, yeah. nigga. You know what I mean? Other than that, unless I'm missing something. Unless I'm missing something. No, no, no. That's a good point. That's a good point. Because yeah. I, I always wondered about that with uh, Dr. Xavier. Charles Xavier. Yeah, X-Men. nigga. You can move all these metal pieces yeah. and go into people's mind and see their yeah. past. But you can't walk. Yeah, nigga. that is kind of like, what yeah. kind of superpower? Yeah, here? it is kind of weird. Is yeah. this yeah. Doctor Whatever? I forget his what's his name. Charles Xavier. Yeah, Charles Xavier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, okay. just saying. You are tuned into the sounds <clears throat> of Urban X. So, an uh, interesting story, guys. This guy Brian Milowski. 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 Okay. Okay. He was the executive director of Bill and Hillary Clinton's National Airport in Little Rock. He was the director of their airport. They had yes. their own airport. I guess so. Maybe a private airport yeah. or something. Okay. And he was shot in the head after federal officers came to serve a search warrant, and he opened fire on them. Mm. He was shot in the head. Why were they coming to search him? Like, what was his... Stories, uh, I, don't, I don't got those details yet. You don't I'm have not, all those details. I don't have those details. I'm just, you know, I don't know that many people... Even 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 gangsters that have that many friends. Oh, that just die. That just die. Listen, and and you know, I told you before the show com- came on. I don't even make jokes about. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't even. Men- I'll mention yeah. street thug, yeah. nigga names, all kind of. I will not mention that name because yeah. I'm scared of them motherfuckers. Yeah. So I'm just. just so another one bites the dust. Just putting that out there. Just putting that out there. Um, Carly Red, uh, she got sent. Uh, Carly Red, <laughs> Carly Russell, Carly Russell. She is the one who did the kidnapping hoax. It was baby on the side of the road. And, oh yeah, yeah. And she called. She got sentenced to twelve months probation. Yeah, okay. She had to do a hundred hours of community service. Yeah, because the judge said it's not even a way. Uh, that's not even yeah, waste taxpayers' yeah. dollars by putting her behind bars. I think she learned her lesson. I do too. You know, and I don't yeah. think she needed to serve. No real jail time. I do too. But you just can't be making up weird stories. See, when you lie, you got to have all the other lies. It's hard to keep a lie like that going. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fantastic lie too. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was just out of the world. Side note, I got good news. What happened? Last week on this show, I spoke about... Uh, uh, thank you, um, B. Hall. Thank you, thank you. I spoke about the flock. Yes. The chicken chips. The chicken skin chips. Chicken skin chips. Dried chips chips that you said were gross. Gross. Yes. I made up for it. (laughs) I purchased... Wait, I thought they took your card away. I thought they didn't have intervention. No, no, this is before the intervention. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I knew I I messed up so bad. (laughs) So I went ahead and got something called the Crunch Nibblers. Now, Malcolm, these Crunch Nibblers, they come in five different flavors. Okay. Peanut butter... Uh, s'mores, uh-huh. uh, a strawberry. When I tell you these were banging, crunch nibblers, sort of like kibbles and bits. That sounds like dog food. No, but it, 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 you know what? I tested it. Uh, I tested it on the family. Uh-huh. They ate all the bags. Mama died and them said, "I'm this. You gotta stop with your um, um, uh, stop using your." <laughs> God damn, she turned the back around like, oh shit, this is pretty good. And then I went in this early this morning to, and all the shit is gone. I got one bag left. Wow. I mean, I see ate all that shit. So I made up with the crunch nibblers. Yeah, I don't like peanut butter. So. Crunch nibblers, very good. Yeah. I don't like peanut butter. So Try them out. Try them out. Crunch nibblers. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Made up for it. Oh, we got to take some questions, man. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, get your questions ready. Get your questions. Somebody said they're driving the bus, and they was laughing so goddamn mm. hard. The patients, I mean, the passengers, is like looking mm. at them like they're crazy. <laughs> Shout out to my uh, bus operators out there. So um, Baltimore is, uh, is opening up a $1 billion jail. I heard. Yeah. A billion dollar jail? Like, billion. what is this, like a super? First of all, your girl, Bowser, 
just signed some shit, the crime, some kind of crazy yeah. crime bill. Yeah. I hope I'm not related to her. I hope she's not kin, man. By association. I hope she not no form of kin. I hope she is not kin, Because she man. did that shit like she was proud. Yeah. And people sitting around clapping. And I understand that the crime rate out there is bad. Yeah. But come on now. A $1 billion super jail. Yeah. And remember, these are private institutions that must be filled. And mind you, a billion dollars in a city like Baltimore could use it for something else oh, other than education. Jail. You know what I'm saying? Housing, Housing, drug rehab, you know what I'm saying? Medical. It, it's a lot that, that that can do. But to build a super prison? Yeah. Jeez. Billion dollars on a prison? On a prison. It's crazy. That's crazy. And they're going to fill them beds. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Get your questions ready. Um, uh, Mike, uh, um, Jonathan Majors, he has uh, been in the gym. He's working out for a new role. Apparently, his ex-girl is suing him. Yeah, what's that all about? I think for defamation. Oh, boy. All right, so he's he just can't get a break. Yeah. He just cannot get a break. Should have got with the magical Negroes. Should have got, got with the magical stay Negroes. Stay away from the white woman. Yep. My, Dot Malcolm, did you hear about the city of Chicago plans on suing Glock for making, Glock the, for making the switch? No, I did not. No, interesting. But like, can, hmm, why would you sue them though? Like, it's it's not their fault that people are using it. But why would you make the switch? Oh, okay, true, true. Like, what's the true, purpose true, of true, the switch? True, true. You know, we because y'all always try to hide under the guys. You know, we're just making guns for hunting. Yeah, that's true. A, a nine millimeter. That's true. With an extended banana clip. Yeah, With that's a true. switch. Yeah. Uh, who the fuck you hunting? <laughs> yeah, birds? That's true. Like, brrr, you trying to shoot birds out the sky? That butterflies is... and shit. So obviously, you know what I mean. That is true. So we have to start going to the source of this and calling it for what it is. I still think that 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 thing is still um that suit is still not is still weak. Black Dad, would you willing to, would you be willing to do an exclusive uh be your breakdown of the civil rights movement being a sob and its effect on generational wealth on the culture versus a family? I am not the one who probably can give you an extensive breakdown of that. Maybe Professor James Smalls mm. or Somebody who actually lived through that whole experience would be better off. I can give you 15 minutes of my opinion and stuff like that. But in terms of, and side note, if you want your question answered. For the Hulk. For the Hulk, send it to info. At urbanx.nyc. At urbanx.nyc. Serious questions only, right? Info at urbanx. As we will be on Sunday, uh, you know what I'm saying, dropping some jewels. Um, I saw another question. Did you see Mike? Anybody see Michael Jordan confirming uh, the similarity? He sees similarities between him and Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards, he he's not stupid. He's leaning into the similarities. I don't know if he, he cut his hair. He started wearing the armband, the armband, the armband and stuff like that. I think he's kind of just leaning into it mm -hmm. rather than I don't know. Just yeah, me. yeah. But they're awesome. When you show, listen, no, no, I've I, seen the picture back to back. I don't know facts, facts. facts. I'm like, well, goddamn it. You know, Mike probably got a few. But that's good. He don't got no. He don't got no tattoo. So it's like he's. he's and they he's, said he a gym rat. Yeah, he's likable. And you seen that dunk last week? That was nasty. Oh yeah. That was nasty, dude. Dude, they carry me out. Like I'm gonna act like I died too. Yeah, yeah. Carry me out. I'm gonna stretch you after that. And I put my. I'm thumb not going up. back on deep. I ain't going back on deep. This nigga put his balls. This nigga jump from the free throw line uh. down there. And then put his balls in my on my head, yeah. and and elbowed me yeah. and slammed on me <laughs> and gave me a concussion. And my family out in the in the crowd. My kids is crying. My kids are crying. Yeah. Is daddy okay? No, daddy not okay. I'm yeah. I'm thumbing it and walking out. God damn it! Yeah, did that you guys, was crazy. Did you guys see that um, uh, Jimmy Kimmel sketch a sketch with uh, 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 Dr. Dre? That Snoop was Dug. disgusting. And who else? And 50 Cent. 50 Cent and Eminem. And Eminem. But they put Eminem, Eminem like a show of Eminem later on yeah. it. But them three in particular, yeah. and it's, it's 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 based on them looking at Jimmy Kimmel's penis. Yeah, like microscopes. Microscopes like, looking at his penis. Magnifying, magnifying glasses. Wow. Trying to find his penis. And then Dr. Dre discovers his penis. And, and, and Snoop and 50 Cent said it looks like Sweet bubble gum or, or chewing gum, chewing gum yeah. or, or sugary or something. <laughs> it was all foul. Yeah. All of it was just yeah. in your window foulness. 
They could have did anything else or skit around Jimmy Kimball in order to get that music playing and pump his heart. Yeah. And it was around them looking at his penis. It was gay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was uh, left-handed mechanic. It was left-handed mechanic, I guess. You know? Um, I'm not going to tell you where, where I'm at in Delaware. You're just going to have to run into yeah, me. Well, come on. Come on. I ain't going to tell you where I'm at. Try to man. look me up and come to the house. Yeah, yeah. I'm do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just, was in the neighborhood. No, you wasn't, like, mama. No, no, you wasn't in my neighborhood. You feel me? Um, I saw somebody asked me where I'll be teaching at Umar school. Listen, I drove past there. Oh, you right down there, Malcolm. I drove past it. Get your little jobby job. I, 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 that, that thing is boarded up. Weeds yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And like the, the location itself is just like dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. And, and, and literally, there's pretty signs up, but that's all. And, and that's all you need to keep it going. Yeah, take a picture by the sign. By the sign. That's it. Yeah. Don't yeah. show the boarded up doors. Hire uh, like a... Uh, it's a rock that's painted red, black, and green. Sit on the rock. Hire like a dude in a mechanic suit. Like that's he it. walking by. Yeah, we getting... We fixing up the inside yeah, now. Yeah, that's it. Let me inside, Umar. We gonna do the, the electricity yeah, yeah. and shit. Have some people outside yeah. sleeping and shit. <laughs> but like we, we, we here at the <laughs> Frederick Douglass Malcolm X Scooby-Doo yeah. building yeah. has gotten... We, we getting it together, man. Come on through. I know Eli was only nine when, and now he's twenty four. But that's okay. Yeah. We maybe his grandkids can. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. And for all of you people in there, gonna defend that shit. You're the sick one, not yeah. him. <laughs> he's good. He just keep rewinding the tape and running it back out there. I didn't watch Candace's interview on the Breakfast Club, but. My uh, one of my friends, he he can't stand Candace Owens. He says she's a grifter who is now pivoting her message and gaslighting everybody else because she's acting like she has been so pro black that it comes across as and we know it's bullshit and that you know and, and that the media has been spinning her words uh, and stuff like no, that. That's all bullshit. And he was just like, "Yo, bro, she just called Juneteenth ghetto not a couple years ago." Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So yes. She has. She's doing a great job of it, though. I don't know. But if, like, we see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and again, that don't mean. And that don't mean she'll be saying some saying true shit. Some, but yeah. I, I know, I know, white supremacists who say shit I agree with. <laughs> no real <laughs> talk. Like, yeah. I won't keep white people over here. <laughs> Niggas over here, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm with that. And if they come across my line, I get to shoot them. We come across their line, they can fire on yeah. us. I don't want no more of these goddamn mixed yeah. babies, goddamn yeah. Leroy messing with you. <laughs> I'm with all that shit. I'm with all of that yeah. shit. Yeah. True story. Yeah. Um, what else we got, guys? What else we got? Uh, Cam Ramsey said, thanks, Dot Malcolm, for the entertainment over the years. Hell of a run, fellas. Thank you. We appreciate that. Thank you, that. Bro. We appreciate it. And this all came from an idea, man. We just said, let's turn on the cameras. You got in front of the camera. I got behind it. I was just lobbing you some questions. Yes. Um, and I was, you can hear the nervousness from behind the camera. Yeah. Asking him questions. Absolutely. But then I got a little bit more comfortable, got in front of the camera. And then I was still nervous. It took me a little while. I think it took me like 100 shows. Yeah, I'm going to say a good, a good... 75 six, six, yeah, yeah. before you kind of just yeah. settled in and you knew, okay, I don't know where this ride is going to go every day, guys. Yeah. I really want to apologize for my dad yeah. before the show even starts. I know your friends are like, yo, what the fuck, your dad is Oh, uh, I, lost, I, I lost a couple of yeah, relationships. Yeah, a couple of relationships. Like, yo, couple friendships. What the fuck like... is wrong with your dad, man? And you like, yo, man, that's my dad. Yeah, yeah. And this is who he is. And this is who I am all the time. I'm obviously leaving up the shows. We're still going to be doing exclusives. We're still oh, going to yeah, be doing... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a couple of surprises. Yeah, Don't we, worry we, about we it. Don't stuff coming, man. We'll figure some stuff out. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just that you can't be in two places at one time. I tried. And, and um, you know, I think you need to spend some time. You know, once you get settled in yeah. and, and get a rhythm going to, to, to being in your new home, your new neighborhood... You know what I'm saying? Get your get your husband shit yeah. on and all of them things are important because you've dedicated a lot of time to this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Avery yeah. had to put you putting up, I give it to her. She mm -hmm. putting up with an entrepreneur yeah. who's dedicated a lot of time to this. 
and now it's time to go home and and I want to see you in the apron and grill. Like that. Uh, I ain't doing that. No, come on, I got, bro. I got a drill though. Oh, you oh you bought your first I got drill. Got a drill though. I'm, All right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to drill some stuff, but you got to put a grill out. Oh, gr- oh, you talking about grill? I think you meant like a, I think you meant like a, like a house husband in, no, in no, the you kitchen. Gotta, no, you got to. I'm going to get a grill. Urban X. I'm yeah, going yeah, to get my Urban get X. Get Urban X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Up my on Urban the grill. X apron. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to do that. A bunch of guns for that. I can't wait. Oh, you got to do that. Can't wait. You got to do that. Open toed sandals. Yes. I, people, I, yo, it's so weird. People just say, hey, good morning. I'm like, good morning. Oh. Good morning. Yeah, just say New York. Yeah, hey. good morning. How you doing? They and they and they actually mean it too. Good yeah. morning too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Thanks. absolutely. So you guys have have seen a lot here. Yeah, absolutely. And um, again, it's not going anywhere. So it's not a farewell. It's just how we do it is going to. But you know, my wheels are already turning. I'm gonna blow you guys' mind with something, and y'all gonna be like, really? I'm gonna be like, really? This is where it is, and this is how it's gonna get done. You know what I'm saying? I remember Doc told me after the second show, don't call it a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I love you guys. Been here since show one. All right, Malcolm slid through Umar School on Vanderbilt Street. Mm. Mm-hmm. Thank you for getting us through the great pandemic, pandemic 2020. No problem, Yes, man. That, that, to me, that's that was the signature moment for me. Yeah. Because... We stood on business. Yeah. And it was a tough time. Scary time. Scary it was un- time. And we didn't know what the hell was happening. I had a baby on the way. Yes. This thing was... It was just... It was wild, man. And, and, and we, we we showed up here. And, and, and you know what I mean? Yeah. And the, the, the responses I got from people was like, bro, you have no idea. Yeah. Just watching you guys come on with them shirts on and just walking us through step by step saying, do not abandon our common sense, and we're going to be okay. And we lost a few people here and there. That mm. just comes with the territory. It's good to see how many people put their faith in us to, you know. Somebody said, well, no, every, everything isn't official. Everything isn't canceled. I, I, that's why I was, like, nervous about tonight. Like, yeah, I was, yeah, we're I not didn't canceling. Know how it, like, I didn't know we're how. We're not canceling. Urban X will be here forever. I didn't know how to, you know, word it so people didn't, you know, completely. Just, just, just stay tuned. Stay tuned for what's next. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That all. And we appreciate your patience and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Come on, guys. We've been through adjustments before. We went private. That too. Some of y'all came. Some of y'all didn't. That too. We started a cable show. That too. Or oh, you nobody. Mm, <laughs> I don't want to start going through that shit again. We still got to do a live show. We stopped after show fifty. Yeah. And left. Yeah. Well, we come on, guys. We still got to do it like a, a live in person. Yeah. Show. We still got to do a live in person. We still got some stuff with man. a DJ. Oh, side note, I am going to be with Professor Griff. At Mr. G's spot. Oh, see, this is what this is for really what it was. Me and Professor Griff. Nothing for Professor Griff. Soleil. Yeah. And uh, not Hank Shockley, Keith Shockley. Yeah, that's tough. uh, The Bomb Squad, who produced Public Enemies. stuff. We all coming together at Mr. G's spot on April 13th. And what is it? What is it? This is the listening album uh, listening party for Griff's album. Oh, nice, nice, nice. You know what I mean? Listening party. Malcolm, I wish you yeah, and the family thank the you. best of everything. In the new chapter, Mama Dot, Black Dot, and the rest of the family, thank you for taking the time. Love chapter is wrapping up on a super high note. LOL. Thank you, Andrews. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. LOL. So, yeah, we, me, Griff, Soleil, um, and, and Keith Shockley are coming together for a musical experience for Griff. And, you know, I'm going to get up and, and do a lecture. It won't be a long one, but okay. breaking down the sound, the, the power of sound vibration. Uh, let me see when, if I got the details. Because I don't want to leave here without giving you the details of, uh, you know. Malcolm, was that Noble in the background one of the Hulks recently? No. Mm-mm. It's from 2 to 8 p.m. The Alkaline Oasis in Brooklyn, 958 Halsey Street. All right? Admission is 25 bucks. You can hit Griff up at 
657-257-2919. That's 678-557-2919 for more details. But that's going to be on a Saturday. And, uh, yeah, me and Griff will be in the building uh, doing what we do best. And when you add the feminine energy of Soleil, his wife, and the DJ sounds of Keith Shockley, man, listen, that's going to be a <laughs> monumental event. And so I'm looking forward to it. All right, guys. Guys, with that being said. That being said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we love you guys. Yes. Tell a friend and tell a friend to subscribe because we're still going to be here. We're still going to be... Oh, 50-year journey. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I said... Love. We'll see y'all in two weeks. <laughs> Hi, I love your energy and congrats on the next mm -hmm. adventures in life. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you. Thank you for the cash apps thank coming in. Thank you for in. the cash apps as well. And thank you to the UX90. We will see you guys on Sunday. Oh, absolutely. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys on... Natalia Dozier, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, uh, school, uh, uh, school to God. School thank to God. You. Thank you. Thank Patricia you. Patricia Johnson, thank you. And again, Abriella DeVicki, um, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And we will see you guys later. We'll see you guys when we see you. Peace. Peace.